Hello everyone and welcome to another one of my 1 euro coin hunt videos. So I have 4 bags of uh, what, 1 euro coins, <laughs> uh, that's 100 euro, so uh, yeah 100 coins in total obviously. And uh, I'm just trying to see how many different countries I could come across, as well as trying to get uh, my Irish date run complete. Uh, so for 1 euro coins, I think there's just the odd years that we're missing. Uh, so hopefully we'll come across some of them today and uh, some of them are actually pretty rare <laughs> So uh, yeah, fingers crossed for that and we'll also see if we get any Rarer minted coins from the other countries as well. So uh, yeah without much further ado, I guess let's get started So hello everyone, uh, it's time to answer more questions that were given to me in a giveaway back in January so uh, yeah again some questions here. So uh, first up is, am I going to do a date run of every country? Uh, no, <laughs> I think that would get too expensive and would take too long. Uh, now I will say I'm going to add another country to my date run uh, for the coin hunts, the send coin hunts uh, in the new year. So another one apart from Ireland and uh, yeah, we'll just see how we get on with that. Um, hopefully. <laughs> um, would I visit the Royal Mint in the UK? Uh, well, since this question has been asked, I actually have uh, visited the Royal Mint uh, back in May, I think. Met up with a load of uh, British coin tubers and uh, yeah, it was a pretty cool experience. Um, I'd love to go to the uh, one in Paris, uh, Monet de Paris. Uh, I've been to the Canadian Mint. Uh, I'd like to go to the, the Australian Mint as well in Canberra. Uh, yeah, that would be cool. So, uh, yeah, that is it to do with mints. <laughs> um, would I do coin hunting live? Um, that is something I've done in the past. Usually when I hit a milestone in my channel, like um, a thousand subscribers, two and a half thousand, five thousand subscribers. Uh, I'm hoping to do one when I reach ten thousand. Uh, if that hasn't happened since I've recorded this, uh, or hopefully it will happen soon uh, when this video goes out. But uh, Otherwise, no, not really, no, I, I, I save it for special occasions, really. Um, okay, next up, do I like to collect and trace banknotes? Um, no, I don't collect banknotes, I don't really know what's involved in banknote collecting when it comes to Euro, Euro banknotes. Um, I think people like to collect the seri serial numbers or something like that, uh, ones from different countries, but and nah, that doesn't really interest me much. Uh, it'd be very expensive when it gets to like 50 euro notes and 100 euro notes, so no, I'll, I'll stick with uh, euro coins at the minute. <laughs> um, okay, how many countries have I visited? Um, well, there's Ireland, start, that's uh, an obvious one, I live here. Um, I've been to the UK, uh, the four different countries of that, uh, Northern Ireland, Scotland, England and Wales. Uh, I lived in England for about six months for work. Um, mainland Europe, um, Portugal, Italy, uh, the Vatican, I'm gonna, gonna count that. <laughs> uh, where else have I been? Um, Germany, I've been to Berlin. Uh, and the Czech Republic, I went to Prague. Uh, now I don't think of any holidays planned from when I'm recording this, uh, uh, but I do want to go to Slovenia and Croatia early next year when Croatia gets the Euros, uh, just to try and collect them, I guess. Uh, also want to go to Denmark, uh, especially Copenhagen and Iceland would be cool. Uh, Oh, I forgot, I've been to Canada. I've lived in Canada for four years and I've been to the US while I was there a couple of times. So um, yeah, that's all the countries I've been to. I've, I have a lot of traveling to do um, in, in the future. <laughs> um, how Do I speak any other language? Um, technically, yes, but not very well. <laughs> I can speak a little bit of Irish. Uh, Mogelga. Brishta, Ogum, <laughs> and uh, I can speak a bit of French, I suppose, but I'm like terrible at languages, really, really awful. As you can tell with my 500 euro coin hunt videos, when I try to say countries in different languages, uh, different names, um, yeah, I'm awful. <laughs> um, 
what country would I like to see have the euro, adopt the euro? Um, God, there's a few in the eurozone that don't have it yet. Um, maybe the Czech Republic? Because I like the designs on their coins that they have at the minute. It'd be cool to see them in euro coins. Um, Denmark as well, because at least they release commemorative coins, so that'd be cool to have, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Uh, but no, maybe the Czech Republic or Poland first, I don't know. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen in a while either. <laughs> um, will I do a 10,000 euro coin hunt in 2022? Uh, no. <laughs> I find the 1,000 euro ones uh, big enough as it is. They go on for half an hour. I can't imagine one ten times that. That'd be three hours long, would it? <laughs> no, that's that's way too much. No, no. And I'd have to get 10,000 euro out of the bank at once. I don't think they'd ever give that to me. Um, but yeah, I think that's all that we have time for for the questions this time around. So again, I'll hopefully have more of these in a future video. So uh, yeah, back to the coins. Right, okay, so that is uh, 100 coins uh, in the one euro coins gone through. Um, okay, well, Spain is definitely the winner <laughs> in terms of the most popular country, or most numerous, I should say. But uh, anyway, I am going to search through these Irish coins, see if there's any of them that I'm missing. And I'll also check through all the coins from the different countries to see if we came across uh, a low minted coin. So I will be back in a sec. Okay, so that is them um, all checked. Uh, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> uh, but we did get one Irish coin I needed. Uh, one from the year 2008. So that's something at least. And apart from Ireland, we got a nice range of uh, different countries. Uh, we got Malta. Uh, this one has a mintage about 2 million. So that's actually pretty good. Don't know if I might keep that one. Uh, we got Greece, uh, which is probably my favourite 1 euro coin design. Uh, Austria, uh, Germany of course, uh, France, <laughs> the two types of Spanish coins, uh, they definitely were the most numerous today, <laughs> uh, one from uh, Slovakia, uh, Portugal, the Netherlands, Italy, and then finally, Belgium. So yeah, not too bad. A uh, nice range of countries and a new one for the collection. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed uh, today's video. Uh, of course, I will have my usual two euro coin hunts as well. Uh, as well as other cent coin hunts eventually. So keep an eye out for them. So uh, I guess until then, thank you for watching.